third vendor, no HD lace. And literally, it Welcome back to my channel. I am Kay from CaseFabHair.com. If you are not familiar with me, I am the owner of CaseFabHair.com. I sell frontals, closures, bundles, all that good stuff. Please be sure to check out my website if you are looking for hair products. But yeah, let's get right on into this video. I don't wanna make, it, make my intro real long. Let's get into this video, girl. Let's get into this video. You click this video, you are probably interested in HD Lace. Maybe you're a business owner or you're looking for HD Lace and can't find it. Cause sis, it's an outage. It's an outage of Lace products right now. So before we get on into this video, please go make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you put on your post notification bell so every time I put up an upload, you will be notified because I'm giving y'all gems, straight gems, all about the hair business, all about the beauty industry. So make sure you do that. So let me give y'all a little background story. I was hitting up my vendors, hitting them up, saying, hey, you know, I need HD Lace, I need this, this, and this. And literally, my first vendor I hit up, my main vendor, no HD Lace, fine. Okay, cool, that's why as a business owner, I know that I need to have multiple vendors that sell the same great quality of hair each because I could just hit up the next vendor. So I go to my next vendor. No HD lace. I'm like, yeah, what? Okay, cool, fine. Go to my next vendor, y'all. The third vendor, no HD lace. And literally, if they have any, it's like one item here, one item there. And then it's like, I don't wanna pay shipping from both vendors. Like, $35, $35, depending on how much shipping is. I just don't want to do that. As a business owner, that doesn't make sense for you to add another $35 for one item to your order. I preferably like to get most of my items from that one vendor. So anyway, I just want to let y'all know one of my main vendors that I always purchase products from is she let me know like, hey, like we're not gonna have HD Lace for a while. Like it's going to be an outage for a minute because North Korea is where they get most of the products and they have shut down their borders due to the virus. Or they're not able to produce the HD Lace as quickly as they're normally used to producing it because of the virus. So I was just like, wow, this is crazy. So it's just like, it's, we gonna be out of HD Lace for a minute. Anyway, the third vendor goes by, no HD Lace. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? Okay, so I'm hitting up literally every single vendor that I've ever dealt with, I'm hitting them up for HD Lace. And they're literally key, either they're saying they don't have it at all or they have one piece. So then I'm like, you know what? I've gone through about 10 to 15 vendors at this point. Like, let me go search online to see if there's any HD Lace just somewhere. Like, I'm, I'm just really curious to know what's going on and why nobody has HD Lace. So y'all, I finally found a couple of vendors that have it. Just so, I, I'm like, at this point, I'll test it out for myself before I give it to my clients. I need to get some HD Lace for myself. So, I hit up the next vendor. They're like, yeah, we have everything. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me, what you got, what you got? So do you have what I need? Oh yeah, we have everything you need. But y'all, when I tell you, these vendors' prices are crazy. It was like $100 for a 14 inch 5x5 HD lace closure. I'm not spending $100 for a 5x5 HD lace closure because therefore, if my HD lace closures start off at 115, like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm only gonna be making $15, like, no. So I'm just like, okay. So either y'all, like y'all are just taxing because y'all know no one, nobody, and most vendors don't have it. And then when you do have it, you're trying to tax me because you have the product because it's in demand right now. That, I see, I see where y'all going with this. So I'm just like, what the hell? 
Y'all, I was literally staying up till like five o'clock in the morning, all last week, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Like, I have to have this on my website. It's like one of my number one sellers. So, I'm like, all right, let me see what this other vendor's talking about. The next vendor I hit up, she hits me back. Yeah, we have everything, we have everything, honey. Yes, yes. I'm like, okay, cool. So, I tell her what I need. She's like, yeah, so this, and she had reasonable prices on her HD lace, I will say that. So I'm like, cool, I'm ready to get it, da 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 da. She's like, oh, well you have to get, um, I think I needed like four, clo I wanted to get like four closures, four HD closures. She's like, you need to get buy 10 bundles of hair. I'm like, I don't, I've never bought from your hair company before. I don't, I, I don't know your quality. I'm just, I just want the HD. At least, like we FaceTimed, I saw it, it looked good. I was just like, I'm just testing out your company, so now you want me to buy three, no, 10 bundles of hair? So, I was just like, this doesn't make any sense. So, I just got really irritated with everything. And I had to reach out to all my clients, let them know like, hey, this is what's going on. It's an outage. Like I let my clients know literally, you know, what is going on the process. Because like if I had it, I would give it to them. Luckily, I did have a few, I had a few frontals and I had a few closures left of HD lace. So I was able to finesse it and they were like, okay, well what the options was that I could offer them. So it was just a mess. I, I stayed up to like, five o'clock in the morning like literally like four days in a row trying to figure everything out and so y'all I literally just took up I, I literally just took a chance and I told the vendor I was like yo I'm not buying 10 bundles of hair from you I said I'll, I'll buy one closure to see how it is and I will test out uh I don't want to buy any more than uh two to three bundles of hair to test out their bundles the, the bundles were reasonably priced too so I was like okay cool let me try them out so y'all, sometimes with these vendors, you literally just have to test it out. Like that, I mean, that's really all you can do at this point. Try it, it's a gamble. Like you don't know what you're gonna get, but at the end of the day, at least you can say you tried it. You can't say like, nah, I just, I'm just not gonna sell HD Lace because they don't have it. You know what I mean? So make sure you take the time out to test out these vendors. Don't be afraid to to buy something because that that comes with business like you have to take chances you have to be willing to okay let me put out this extra 150 dollars so i could test this out so this is just a part of the business testing out hair testing out different products whether you sell hair products or something else lip gloss sunglasses whatever you sell you're going to have to test out the product and with hair that's just how it is whether it's a wig a closure a frontal bundles whatever you're gonna have to test out the hair so here are a few of my tips of what i would recommend you do if you do sell hd lace and your vendor doesn't doesn't carry it um i recommend one if you want to continue to carry it you're gonna have to go up on your price because these vendors are not they're not selling it for cheap so because they know that it's at a demand they know that they could they could cap up on it and like it, it kind of leaves you no room to do that. So that's if you want to continue to sell HD lace until it comes back. You're gonna be out of HD lace for a minute. And you know, like I said, unless you could find a vendor that has it, and I was able to find a couple, but like I said, the prices are to me are a little bit unreasonable. And I don't I don't know how I feel about asking my clients for that much for the HD lace. But some clients I know they just want HD lace, so they'll, they're willing to pay for it. So just keep that in mind when you do offer it on your website. If you do have it up on your website right now, I recommend just taking it down until you're able to find a vendor that does have it or your vendor already carries it and you're good. You know what I mean? So I would recommend just taking it off, but if you have access to it, then leave it on your website. Also, I have come to the conclusion that the five by five regular lace closures as well as the transparent lace closures are getting very scarce because like I said before, my vendor let me know that they're not able to produce the way that they're used to producing lace closures. So just keep in mind that um, I think they have plenty of wigs made. Um, most of the vendors have plenty of wigs, plenty of frontals, just, it's just the closures. that The five by five closure to me right now is like one of the most popular 
closures. I don't, I personally don't wear anything smaller than a five by five, but also a lot of people don't want the maintenance of a frontal, so they're getting closures and they're getting five by five closures and six by six closures. So five by five is like literally running out. Like I was like, okay, well can I just get a regular five by five? And they were like, we low on that too. So I'm just like, dang, like it's, it's, it's bad. So I'm just like, wow, y'all hyped us up on this HD mess for the longest and now y'all finally got it and now it's like, this happens. But I get it, the virus was unpredictable. Nobody knew that that was gonna happen. So as far as my tips go, I recommend, one, make sure you have access to the product. Especially if you're doing the pre-order method, you wanna make sure that you have access to the product. Make sure your vendor has it. Make sure they have it on deck before you're selling the product. And if you find out that your vendor does not have it, then you need to let your, your customers know ASAP. Second, I would recommend possibly even giving other alternatives. So either you could have them do U-part wigs, you could have them do clip-ins, you could have them, like people are gonna have to start switching to other items because like, a lot of people don't like the medium brown lace. So if you don't like the medium brown lace, then what are you gonna do? Like, especially if you're like a fair skin person, most of them do transparent or HD lace. I mean, honestly, it's probably gonna go back to how it was. I mean, medium brown lace has honestly been around for forever. They literally just started coming out with all of these different laces because they knew we love lace. And so they're just coming out with all these different ways to get us to buy um, the new products that they offer. drink break so so I recommend having your clients go with other options they could try either the medium brown lace if they're okay with that um, as far as they could do regular leave out as far as sew-ins go they could do a u-part wig yeah it's other options other than just a closure they could try a frontal like they still have frontals so I would recommend just guiding them to a different item because that's probably going to be the best bet and also honestly and truly there are ways i have seen some wig makers make um the actual wigs with frontals and they'll just cut the frontal and make it into a closure wig kind of so you know there's there's other ways you could get around it but what i recommend really is honestly just trying to veer them off to something else because guess what nobody is really gonna have hd like it's it, it's nobody's gonna have it so if they say oh well, i'll go somewhere else and get it okay girl either they're gonna be paying an arm and a leg or they're not gonna have it so with that being said i said that i was not gonna stress myself out about it i was just gonna try to refer people to other options and for you all i what i recommend as far as that goes is that even if someone says oh you don't have hd lace like Okay, that's fine. They're not gonna be able to find, like it's gonna be hard to find it somewhere else. Like I had to be start digging high and low to find the HD lace. And when I did find it, it was expensive. Or you had to buy all this hair with it and it's like, I don't really trust, you don't really trust the vendor. So for your customer who's coming to you to buy hair, they're gonna go to the next hair company and they're gonna be charging an arm and a leg for it. Or either, if they are able to find it, the only reason why they would be able to find it at a decent rate is because probably because probably the hair company has bought a whole bunch of it. Now, if you're able to buy a whole bunch of hair at one time and you see that a vendor has it and you're able to get it, go ahead and get it now because right now is the time to keep the hair on deck, some hair, especially with those lace closures. So go and buy all the HD lace, go buy all the transparent lace if you have the funds and you know that you know your volume. Make sure you know your volume <laughs> before you go do that. And you can sell it, have it on deck, it's easy. But if you don't have the money right now, it's that's understandable. Like, don't stress yourself out about it. Like, it's not that serious. I have some closures on deck, but the way these people are charging, Nah, I'm cool, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I'll figure it out uh, with my customers. But yeah, so those are the recommendations I have. And if y'all have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. 
And also let me know what kind of content y'all wanna see. If y'all wanna see more hair business, so let me know what kind of content y'all wanna see next. Um, this will conclude this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope y'all were able to take something away from this and let y'all know that the lace is sparse out here, but you, we, we figuring it out. Like, we got to. Like, you know, us black women, we always going to have a new hairstyle and a new do and figure out something like, We'll figure it out at the end of the day. So make sure you comment down below. Please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.